funny looking thing is the smallest standard gauge steam locomotive in the UK. Meet Gazelle, built in 1893 by Alfred Dodman and Company of Kings Lynn. She was ordered by Norfolk businessman William Burkett for use on private excursion trains, including ones across the old Great Eastern and Midland and Great Northern joint lines. When she was built as a 222, the engine weighed just over five and a half tons with wooden wheels and her cylinders were just four inches in diameter. You heard right, a locomotive that weighs as much as a Humvee is riding on chariot wheels and powered by cylinders smaller than a CD. And yet, she could do 45 miles an hour. Just goes to prove that steam is a powerful force. But following Burkett's death in 1906, the engine was sold to a scrap dealer in Sheffield. She was thankfully given a new lease of life by Colonel Stevens, the light railway entrepreneur, when in 1911 she was purchased and relocated to the Shropshire and Montgomeryshire Railway. It was here where she was converted to an 042 with a cab and tender protection, before being converted to an inspection unit in 1937. Then in 1941, the War Department acquired the route, along with Gazelle, when she was deployed on further inspection duties to counteract saboteurs. Not so much a gazelle at this point, as a canary. But despite her being a one-trick wonder, and despite her being laid up in 1945 after an accident, she became part of BR Western Region's stock, who presented her to the Longmore Military Railway in May 1950. But as we all know, Longmore closed in 1969, so the following year she became part of the National Collection. Following years of display between the National Railway Museum York and the Museum of Army Transport, she became, ironically, the biggest exhibit at the Colonel Stevens Museum at Tenterden on the Kent and East Sussex Railway. So she's jumped around from plinth to plinth since 1950, but perhaps being on permanent display isn't such a bad thing. I mean, we can all dream, but realistically, just what are the chances of this thing dragging her way up Tenterden Bank? Thank you.